to speak to the world. But after a two hour conversation with her, my messaging changed. I it was, oh no, you're not filling the gap. She gave me the new language to understand what tyranny really looks like. Amen. What the education cartel is doing to our children. What the banking industry is doing to us as, as, and controlling every aspect of our lives. What the new nonprofits look like, the medical industry and the hospitals look like that are gonna be taking what? And taking our bodies and profiting off our bodies commoditizing our bodies, enslaving our bodies. Now I want to leave you a message before I let Alice and my sister get up here. Any black American, I want, this is for black Americans, any black American that is pumping and promoting this evil tyranny in their communities is a modern day slave catcher. They are a war, what? They are, they are at war with society. Any black American, any black pseudo-intellectual, any black pastor, because they closed up the churches and zoomed in Jesus, now they're opening up the doors to sell the devil's death. So you, any one of them out there that's telling you, it's a right to turn your body back over to the slave master. They are a war criminal and they are a modern day slave culture. Give them a name now, you gotta give them a name. You gotta give them, you don't give them a name, they can hide. So when you see somebody that looks like me saying, oh my God, take the vaccine, but I don't know what it's in it, but they're paying me well. They're a modern day slave catcher. <laughs> Everybody, let's give a stand of ovation for my girl, Allison. Wow, it is such a gift to be here today. Thank you, New York. Thank you. I love you all. All right. Um, yeah, my name is Allison McDowell, and if you are familiar with my work, you can find more about it at my blog, wrenchinthegears.com, and I have a YouTube channel under my name. I'm kind of a fire hose, so if it doesn't make sense, it's important, stick with it, you'll get it eventually, all right? So I'm here to bring a bit of a message of hope, okay? Uh, spring, I wrote this last night and I said it was on the doorstep, but I think spring is here. Spring is here and every day the sun gets stronger and the days get longer. Ooh. And this winter we have lived through, it is fading. Yes. Now in Philadelphia, the snowdrops are up, the daffodils are up. I work in a public garden and yesterday I got my hands in the soil. Wow. The beautiful connection to the earth and I saw my first garter snake and I'm like, yes. you need to go back to bed. There's some more leaves on top of you. And I felt human. I felt human on the land. And today I feel human with you all beautiful people. We need to hold our humanity. So we've made it through a hard year. It's been a long year of reflecting and reckoning and deepening. And we have fallen apart and we have been put back together. And we are raw and vulnerable, but we are also hopeful and powerful. We have found one another. We have found one another. Look around, we have found one another. So here at Union Square Park, we are united to face what John Trudell, a leader of the American Indian Movement, described as a predator energy. The predator energy that would eat the being part of human. That is what we have been fighting all year. And John Trudell was a prophetic voice. If you do not know his work, you should look it up. And so we are here because we are not shirking our responsibility to put our minds, our bodies, and the intelligence given to us by the Creator against this machine of what he called technologic. Technologic, we stand against that machine. Who could have known that that would be biometric passports and QR codes and incarceration bracelets for everyone and robot police dogs? We knew the age of surveillance capitalism was dawning, but none of us anticipated this trigger event that turned our world upside down a year ago, March. Yet those of us with eyes to see and ears to hear and open parts, hearts have been called to step forward with the gifts. Each of us has gifts to give to, to this movement by the Creator, and we must work to transmute this profanity that has descended upon us into something sacred. 
a sacred non-cybernetic future. The, that future is not one where we live in a planetary computer or as characters in a virtual reality simulation. I got a second one. That world is not a world of barcoded life. That world is not one that is fueled by cyborg avatar capitalism. We see this choice. It is a choice between two paths, one green, one scorched. And we know that the choice we make, the stand we take today and every day moving forward will determine not just the course of our lives, but the lives of all other beings on this planet and those not yet born. And so I stand here today with you beautiful people in a spirited resistance to the Great Reset against the Fourth Industrial Revolution and stakeholder capitalism and globalization 4.0 and social impact investing. Because Cuomo wants to hand you all over to the hedge funds, the militarized hedge funds. That's why you're on the front lines. The perfect! The technocratic industrial vision of society that was hatched at the at Columbia School of Industrial Engineering in the 1930s, that's not going to come to pass. And nor will the e-government digital nation solutionism that was birthed out of NYU's GovLab and Harvard Kennedy School. Nope. We see you. We see you, you data-driven policy wonks and Google analysts who aim to steal our civic agency in the name of what works government. Our vibrant cities, and I'm from Philadelphia, and I love my city, and I love New York. Our cities are not going to be reduced to indifferent network panopticons and operating system masquerading as government. Their soulless smartness is no match for our symphonies, our songs, our dance, our poetry, our cuisine, our street art, laughing children, and warm embraces. It's no match. They are not going to win. We already won. We just got to do the work. <laughs> Michael Bloomberg, Goldman Sachs, Stanley Druckenmiller, Tall Tudor Jones, and the rest of the hedge fund crowd have no right to predictably profile us, put us on social prescribing self-improvement pathways, track our compliance with wearable technology, and use that data to run pay for success deals profiting off social misery. <clears throat> Who do they think they are to impose digital identities? like these health passes and package us as asset-backed securities, tranches of impact investments, human data com capital data commodities, to be tracked as domesticated livestock through a spatial web of mixed reality. The Davos elite have no right to foreclose the futures of children. They have no right to do this to the children. Uh, I call out the toxic alliance of the United Nations and Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum for the full progressive gaslighting cabal that it is. Yeah. 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 Global poverty cannot be a profit center. Our physical and mental health cannot be profit centers. Hands off our education choices and our food choices too. Nature is not theirs to blanket in sensors and tracked as impact data on dashboards. Our destinies are too magnificent to fit on any puny blockchain ledger. Our life force belongs not on an ESG environmental social governance portfolio, but woven into complex tapestries of life that bind us to one another, to the land and to all beings, enriching our lives from the microbes to majestic cottonwoods. Our freedom struggle is for the preservation of all natural, non-synthetic life on Mother Earth. And with such freedom comes responsibility to mend the immense hurts and the deep wounds inflicted onto society and nature over centuries. We have arrived at a moment of supreme reckoning, where through an alchemy of love and faith, we might manifest a future of healing and right relationship where reciprocity is yes. restored. This work. is the work. Look around. This is your community. We build this thing together.
And so let us stand united in faith and shared power, shared power and love, and strive to be ancestors worth claiming. Thank you, and God bless to the creator. We're doing the work, we are doing it. I love you all. Thank <laughs> you.